we want you to bring together women from around the world with different tastes and different age groups. I was thinking of nature, but in a way that's artful, a little bit wild, but also a little bit refined. Well, this is our Dress Come True collection, so what I was trying to do was really make the modern princess bride unique. This season we wanted to play with transparencies and lace and layering. The look today is a really romantic, soft, kind of messy but still done pony. We're keeping it a little bit higher on the hairline just to keep it more young and modern. And basically what we did is we just added a lot of texture up top. And then what we did is kept the bottom super clean and tight. And then we just hid the elastic with a little bit of hair wrapped around it. We went with a simple, clean, natural look. We used natural tones, bronzes, pinks, a touch of shimmer. We're doing no lashes, just mascara, and no hard lines. This is just a way to look healthy and like themselves and pretty. Well, this collection is based on the international woman. We want you to bring together women from around the world with different tastes and different age groups. I always say that the woman today, with the internet, whether she doesn't even leave her hometown, she has the world as her shopping avenue. She's able to see things that she never saw before. She's seen what brides look like in Rome, what brides look like in Paris, what brides look like in Moscow, in China. Though I'm an American designer, this is, I believe, classically American, but it has an influence of different fabulous European cities. Dennis had a very classic Dennis Basso collection, and they're for a very, you know, very understated, elegant girl. There was one with an overskirt that I thought was really, really pretty, and it looked very lightweight also. I just think effortless and lightweight is the way to go today. Nothing too heavy that bogs you down. Still looks like a bride, but they're very classic and very tailored almost. It's also the woman who's 20 years old and maybe 40 years old. Years ago, classic bridal ended if the girl was in her early 20s. After that, what should she wear? Today, women are going down the aisle of all ages wearing beautiful white gowns. And so I've created a collection that could be for the very young, the ingenue bride, or the woman who's sophisticated and still wants to be a bride but wants to be sleek and elegant or someone who wants to be a beautiful confection. So there's a whole marriage, marriage of different looks in this particular collection.
There are some gowns that are extremely body hugging that are very glamorous that have a nod to old Hollywood. So there's a combination of things. This year, I've done organza and duchess satin and silk crepe, a lot of encrusted beading, pearls, we've used pearls, and oversized Swarovski crystals, and beautiful Alençon lace. So it's just a melange of many different things. And mixing the medias, which I think is a very strong look in the world of fashion today. My finale gown is very classic. It was inspired by Grace Kelly, so you'll see that. When you do a collection, they're like your children. I love each one for each every, in every different situation. Starting my collection today, I was thinking of nature, but in a way that's artful, a little bit wild, but also a little bit refined. And I really focused on expressing that through a lot of the embroideries that I did, and tucking little like I like little details and hate little secret things in some of the embroideries. Really, just beautiful dresses, ethereal, graceful silhouettes, tints of color, and a dress that a bride can feel contemporary and of the moment, but also timeless. Alvina Valenta, we always use a lot of lace, and I also use tulle and silk organzas, playing with a lot of layers to mix different colors together to create new colors. And this season with the embroideries, I wanted to create lace-like looks, but by using different embroidery techniques. This season, I again looked to the embroideries. I, I put a lot of love into some of these embroideries, designing the layouts. I think they're beautiful. And there's a special little exciting, maybe after party dress also in there, which is really fun. Alvina Bride, I think, to me, is she's of the moment, but in a graceful, ethereal way. She wants to be able to look back on her wedding photos in 20, 30, 40 years and feel like she wasn't stuck in a moment, but she's still timeless and beautiful, maybe paying attention to special details. I think she really does appreciate all the little details and the nuances that I put into my gowns.
today is we're doing really luminous skin, um, nude lips and nude cheeks. Uh, the eyes are going to have uh, shimmer coppers and cranberries, um, a very mega lash. And um, the designer Madeline had asked for us to the girl to look mysterious and dreamy. So um, that's going to set the tone for our bride today. So for today's look, we wanted to get a nice, uh, beautiful braid, uh, keep everything brought back and away from the face, which is a like, nice, softer texture, kind of like broken up, really pretty and elegant. Well, it's nice because it has like a combination of like, um, you know, the braids kind of give like a nice elegance to it, but then having the, a bit of roughness and the flowers help to bring out like the floral patterns and stuff that you see inside of the dresses. This is our Dress Come True collection, so what I was trying to do was really make the modern princess bride unique and give these new silhouettes but still keep it so romantic that they still feel like that princess bride. I have to say that the Maury Lee Madeline Gardner show, my first word that I can think of was just really, really smart. And when I say that, I think what she did in combining sexy yet conservative I think was brilliant because she's giving those brides that really, really sexy look, but they're still covered. And I think that that's really what brides want. They want to be traditional on their wedding day, but they still want to look sexy. And I think she did it just immaculately. Notice we had lots of layering. I had special tool designs with sparkle in it. All my embroideries are handmade, special laces. We searched the globe for unique beads that really sparkle but still give that gorgeous bridal feel to a dress. And um, that's where I usually start with inspiration. And then from there, it just kind of flows. modern, unique, romantic, sophisticated. We try to dress so many brides globally, but our girl usually knows who she is and we love her to feel super special in our gowns. I think that's really important to listen to your customer and you are so in tune with your customer. And because I'm out there and working with them every day, I get to see what they're looking for and what they want and you nailed it.
artist collections I've seen. And because I get to travel internationally, I know what they're looking for. And what you did was really brilliant. I, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm borderline of genius because you gave them sexy, but they were covered. You gave them really low backs, but there was lace covering it, which they're always asking for that low back, but then it's like, oh, it's too low. Too low right? So you gave them that nice balance between yin and yang of sexy and traditional, where I think that the bride is gonna love the dress, and so is the mother-in-law. I think the collection really is gonna be huge for true American brides, not just New York and LA and Miami. And I think it's also gonna be very big internationally because I travel a lot internationally and I see what they're wearing. And I think this collection is really gonna be relatable to the international market. I was lucky enough to be in Paris for Prima Vision and I found this fabulous printed organza where it looks like there are flowers actually growing out of the fabric. So I decided it needs to be a ball gown, of course, right? So I layered it with sparkle tulle, and they have this gorgeous organza with silk yarns running through it that sparkle. So that's what's under there. And then we had all handmade flowers, very dimensional gown with covering the bodice, but the entire bodice is nude. I don't know if you could see that as well on the runway, but it was completely nude. And then we just did a, a very dramatic cathedral veil using the same appliques. I say my hat's off to you. Once again, you have outdone yourself. And um, I just think you're brilliant and, and, and um, I love you. So oh, congratulations. We listen to those girls, don't we? We're here at La Jure. It's very romantic. It's a great place to get married in the city, to have that French romanticism. This season we wanted to play with transparencies and lace and layering. That's great, just like that. It's about an intelligent, empowered woman that is in touch with her femininity. A creative bride for fulfilling romantic, dreamy, grand, regal fantasies. Here there's like an origami technique with the tool and then underneath when she starts to move you can see the hidden embroidery and thread work that's appliqued on top of the tool here and then as it creeps up here it re-picks up the embroidery there and you start to see different layers of a 3D lace, a Chantilly lace on the tool and then it just starts to creep out under this you know, very seductive neckline. Her veiling then picks up some of those elements as well with a little bit more silver in the thread work which just adds a pickup of light which is great for a photo and an exit. It creates that romantic twinkle. This is more in like a Hollywood, more fishtail silhouette. This plays with like a passementary technique, a cording technique a lace and then layered over a chantilly. It's all about creating dimension and texture and staying light. 
here we did uh, our floral border uh, and it's just it's a transparent sequin we were looking at vintage antique gelatin sequins that have that kind of reflective quality but no pigment to them so it gives an icy modernity to it and then here full-on romantic grand wedding a full tulle skirt yards and yards you could swim in it the full drama wedding, reminiscent of pieces that we do in our collection, drama, romanticism, a real designer look at the David's Bridal price point. It's something that's very important to me. You shouldn't have to break the bank to get a wedding. You should be able to fulfill your fantasy. You know, this tool technique, we've seen a lot of it on the runways. I wanted to balance it with a very clean bodice with some boning detail, which always does very well with us. And here she's wearing a truly Zach Posen ring that we design, engagement band underneath that sits with the wedding ring. And that has a sapphire in it, which I think is always so elegant. Then we have here, full skirt, Cording. I think this has a little bit more of the kind of elegance to it and sophistication. Corded veil here and all these layers. And that's so romantic. And a big train. It's quite something. All the thread work, all the lace. It's a real antiquity piece. That's also part of our Truly Zach Posen collection. Here it has the oval cut and it's, it's layered and that gives, you know, real sparkle, real twinkle. I mean, you know, diamonds are everybody's best friend. And then here, very architectural, very signature construction, sweetheart neckline, and then as it turns to the back, she is one of my favorite construction details, this kind of origami bow that that pulls it all towards the back with some tool that comes there. And I don't even think she needs a veil. This is like, you know, the, she has it there. Uh, I love the curve there, the buttons going down. You know, it's all about the architecture and the cut of the clothing, playing with dimension and textures. And it's really my love note to, to women getting married all over the world. <laughs>